Hi everybody, it's Karen Money Williams here, back with part two of Tommy Toucan Learns Terminology. And how's that for alliteration? This is Poupe Theater, where the Poupes, also known as puppets, but with a French pronunciation, ask questions about Abraham Hicks and Law of Attraction, and I answer. Without further ado, let's bring him on in. Come on in, Tom. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Well, hello, is he? Hello, Tommy. Um, let's get right down to it without a lot of chit-chat. Uh, about uh, Let's do another uh, vocabulary lesson, learning about some of the terminology of Abraham Hicks. Now, do you feel that s since last time you are starting to grasp a bit of it? Well, to tell you the truth, I don't know for sure. Sometimes it seems like I am, and sometimes it seems like I'm not. Hmm. Well, there's no rush about it. If you are interested in this philosophy, just a little bit every day, uh, and uh, you, you don't have to try to uh, bite off more than you can chew and get your beak all clogged up, but just, uh, just little by little. Now, today, let's go on with a couple more terminologies. Ooh, that's a strange word. This terms uh, from Abraham. They're actually just individual words. And let's see what we can um, come up with on these today. How about it? Well, I think I'd like that very much. Okay, here, you help me hold this up like so. Okay, here it is. Contrast. Say it with me. Contrast. Contrast, correct. Okay, now, ordinarily this wouldn't mean of what we will be talking about today. Abraham Hicks has a very particular meaning for this. Now, with contrast, they mean not like black and white, dark and light so much. Uh, they mean the immense variety here on planet Earth. There's such an immense variety of birds, of people, of plants, of uh, uh, video games, and uh, you name it. There's just a little bit of everything here. Now, not all of it do we like here. There are things that uh, if probably if you and I had our druthers, there wouldn't be here. Can you think of something? Yes, I can think of something like blue jays. I can't stand them fellers. Blue jays, not everybody's wild about them. Uh, I know that one flirted with your wife, but uh, we won't dwell on that. You know, there are a lot of things on planet Earth that uh, are hard to understand. The way some people act and carry on and, and their values aren't the same as our values. But, you know, Abraham says that, that variety, contrast is variety. And we came forth into this place of great contrast and lots of stuff we like and lots of stuff we don't like in order to form desires. Now, that's our next word, and if you would help me with that trusty beak of yours to hold this. Very good, very good. That's the word desires. You see, I, I've got this spelled out in a very high-tech way on a very high-tech piece of paper. Well, you did a good job with it. I think you spelled it right. <laughs> I tried. Okay, Tommy, so what it is... Um, <sighs> Desires are crucial, they're critical, they are so important to have. And, you know, we can't live without desire, so it's going to happen. But Abraham teaches that when there's a lot of contrast here, all kinds of things wanted and unwanted, it evokes desires in us. And so uh, when we see um, a nice nest that some other bird has, we might want that also. Or we might want to uh, soar a little higher in the sky, or we might want some fresh worms from the, the garden. I, uh, I'll, I'll leave that to you in your cuisine. But the idea is that because there is such a variety, such contrast here, we have very uh, ongoing big desires. And that's part of the importance of planet Earth, is having lots of contrast, which evokes lots of desires. Because desires, not only do they feel good, especially when they manifest for us, and we'll learn more about that in days to come, but desires are important because they actually pull life force to us. That's what keeps us going, and it's what keeps this planet spinning. So 
if anybody ever says to you, oh, let go of your desires and your dreams, you're just frustrating yourself, say, you get the heck out of here. No, I'm not. Well, you don't have to say it that way, unless it's a blue jay, and then you can say it any way you want. So does that help a bit? Well, I think that helps quite a bit, and I'm going to go home and share this stuff with the little wife. You do that, Tommy. And by the way, while you're there, help her sit on those eggs. I mean, come on. This shouldn't be all her work. You too have a rump, and you can sit also. Okay, uh, we'll see you next time, Tommy, and we'll have more vocabulary words, and we'll explore a lot more fun, interesting aspects of the teachings of Abraham Hicks. Toodaloo, everybody. Toodaloo. And bye-bye.